Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to show you probably one of the coolest Windows Mobile skins we've ever seen. Uh, it takes a while to set up, but once you do, it's pretty darn cool, and when I turn on this device, you're going to know immediately what it's skinned after. So let's do it, and we'll zoom in a little bit, and you guessed it right, it looks like Windows 7. This uses WiseBar Advanced Desktop 2, uh, plus a variety of plugins to get the desired effect, and it operates very similarly to how it works on a laptop or a desktop. So let's take a look at kind of the features included here. So we can tap the start menu to get a Windows 7 like start menu. We can go into computer and get a list of all of the drives that we have, well sort of uh, ROM, RAM, and anything left on the uh, micro SD card on your device. And over here on the left a lot of this isn't clickable but some of it is. Let's see if we tap documents we jump into my documents and let's go back to computer. And some things don't work such as music it just takes you back to this area. Um, and there's some other things you can click on here. You can obviously launch any of these programs by tapping on them. You can do a search by tapping on the search area. Again, this is where it turns into kind of a program launcher. If we tap on the shutdown button, we're taken into kind of a lock screen, which looks really cool. And to get back in, you just tap on the little uh, right arrow and you get a fade in. Let's see what else you can do. You can obviously click and drag the icons and kind of rearrange things. We can click on control panel. It's a link right to the control panel. Some of these things down here are very similar to how they look in Windows 7. So we can get a volume control, a volume slider, which we can move up and down. We can tap on this little button here, which is sort of your uh, network status. You can see the buttons in the upper right corner are very reminiscent of Windows 7. You can tap the power button and we can't actually change the power plan like you can in Windows 7, but it kind of uh, looks just like it. We can tap on the clock to get a little pop-up like we would on Windows 7. And also this little up arrow actually is a task manager that will let you switch between various open applications. So overall, a very, very cool skin for Windows Mobile, definitely more so for the advanced users. There's a lot of things you can change about this to kind of customize it and make it work the way that you want to. Setup takes a while unless you're an advanced user. So again, we're going to post instructions on pocketnow.com on how to do this, but if you're not an advanced user, you may not want to give it a try or you may be dealing with many hours of frustration, but a pretty cool way to use Windows Mobile to have an interface that looks like Windows 7. That's it for now.